Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, in today's episode of the Simulator Series, we are going to be creating the Pet Inventory GUI. As always, if you guys do enjoy the episode, make sure you smash the like button, also the subscribe button, and turn those post notifications on if you want to get notified when we upload more of Roblox film and content. Additionally, I have a Patreon if you guys like to support me and gain access to all the scripts and the game file that I make during this episode. There's a link down below in the description, and you guys can go and check that out. With that being said, let's get into it. To showcase the GUI that I'm referring to, let's hop into Eating Simulator, and we can see that we have this little button on the left-hand side of the screen that says Pets. When we click on this, we we can see a new GUI pops up, which is our pet inventory. So up here we have the title, which says pets, and then a little subtitle, which says equip cute pets for multipliers. Then we have some information displayed right here. So we have how many pets we currently have equipped. If we unequip a pet, that number changes, or if we equip a pet, that number also changes. We also have a plus button, which will allow us to purchase a game pass for equipping additional pets. We also have the storage information here as well. So currently we have nine out of 50 allowed stored pets. And of course, if we click the plus button, we also get the option to purchase another game pass for this as well. We also have a button on the right hand side of the screen which says multi delete and when we click on this we can click and select basically all the pets that we want to delete and if we click confirm all of those pets will be deleted additionally we can see that we have all of our pets here the ones that are equipped have a green check mark if we click on the pet we can see that some information pops up right here such as the name the rarity and the stats that it offers as well as an unequip and an equip button if it is not equipped already and we also have a little trash can icon right here which we can click to delete that pet as well now that we know all the aspects of our gui let's hop directly into roblox studio so inside of Roblox Studio, let's go inside of the star GUI and let's actually duplicate the settings GUI. And the reason for this is because if we enable this so we can actually see this, it has some of the components that our inventory GUI is already going to have, such as the frame setup. So we have a little upper frame right here, and we also have the title and the subtitle and a little container inside of it as well, along with the exit button too. That's why we're duplicating this to kind of get a head start. So we'll then rename the duplicated one to pet inventory and then let's go inside of the gui inside of the frame inside of the title and we can change the text from settings to pets then inside of the subtitle let's change this text to equip cute pets for multipliers there we go then for the background color of the title and the frame we can go ahead and set the background color of this to sort of an orangish color and we'll go with that now for the container frame we're going to want to make this a little bit smaller because remember we're going to put the info sort of between this and the subtitle we also want to make it a little bit smaller as well because on the right side of the gui we're going to have an info frame displaying information about the pet when we actually select them so we actually might make this a little bit smaller i think that is pretty good right there and also we'll stretch this out a little bit larger towards the side so like that now i think that's pretty good then let's go ahead and modify the container background color to be a sort of darker orange so something like that looks pretty good then we have the exit button and we'll actually duplicate it and rename the new one to delete button it could be multi-delete because that is what this button's going to be and then what we're going to do is basically resize it a little bit to kind of appear as they have it so right along here i think that's pretty good we could make it a little bit larger if we wanted to whatever you guys want to do then for the actual text we're going to say multi-delete in all caps and that looks perfect then we'll add a new frame inside of here and of course we want to set the size to scaled so we're just going to set it to something random real quick and then we'll rename this frame to stats now this frame is going to be the holder to display how many pets the player currently has equipped and how many they can actually store inside of their inventory so we're just going to kind of resize it and drag it out a little bit it actually doesn't even have to be that big we don't want it to be touching that text up there so i just want to make it a little bit smaller and then let's also move the position up a tiny bit so like 0.11 i think would be good so now it's kind of in between the container and the subtitle. Then what we can do is we can set the background transparency to one because we don't want there to be any background. Now that we have the stats frame, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the subtitle, drag it directly into the stats frame, and we're going to rename this to equipped, to equip. This is going to actually display the amount of pets the player currently has equipped. So we'll set the text to a dog emoji and say three out of three. Then for the size, well, we want it to be stretched down and we don't want it to be that long. So for the size, we're going to say for the Y, we want it to be one one scaled because we want to be the entire height and then for the x we'll leave that at 0.25 for now for the position we're actually going to set it all to zero because we want it to start all the way at the left side of the screen just like that so i think that does look pretty good then we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the exit button drag that directly into stats and we'll rename this to buy equipped and what that's referring to is the plus button displayed next to the amount that the player currently has equipped so for the size let's just drag this out a little bit and we want it to basically be like a square so i think 
think that actually might be good sizing right there. Now we could reposition this ourselves and we could kind of try to find the best position for it, like maybe 0.25. The alternative that we could do, which we've done before, is by adding a UI list layout and that'll add even spacing between all the elements. So what we can do is we can say the fill direction would be horizontal. The vertical alignment can be center and then the sort order is going to be layout order. So then we also want to make sure that we adjust the layout order for all these. So this is going to be zero, of course. Buy equipped is going to be one because we want it to be displayed to the right of the equip text label. And then we just have to adjust the UI list layout a little bit if we want to add more spacing into this. So maybe we want to say like 0.2 and that'll make it very far apart. Maybe 0.01 is good. We can modify this as we go on. So the next thing that we'll do is we'll duplicate the equipped text label. And then we want to set the layout order of this to two because we want that to appear to the right of the buy bun. And we'll rename this to storage. And the text for this is going to be a box emoji. And we'll say six out of 50. There we go. And now before we duplicate the buy quit, we'll actually modify this a little bit. So the text of this, we just want to be a plus symbol, just like that. For the background color, we want this to actually be a brightish green. So like that. Actually, yeah, we want to adjust the size to just be the entire Y width, not any larger than that. And I think that's pretty good. We might actually want to add a little bit more UI padding to this. So maybe 0 0.015, I think is pretty good. That adds nice space in between them. So then we will duplicate the buy equipped button and we'll rename this from buy equipped to buy storage. And then for the layout order, we're going to set this to three so that it appears to the right of the storage text label that we just created. And there we go. We now have that all set up. Now that we're done with that, the next thing we're going to do is duplicate the container frame and we'll rename this one to info. And this is going to be the one that appears on the right hand side of the screen. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to kind of reposition this over to here. I think that's almost perfect, but let's actually stretch the container frame out just a little bit longer. So like that. And now the info frame is pretty good. So inside of here, we're actually going to delete the container, but leave the UI corner. Then let's actually create another frame inside of the info frame, because remember there's sort of two modes to how this info frame will display. One is to display a pet that we just clicked on. And the other is with the multi-delete. And when we click on the multi-delete button, it'll display some text and actually have a button inside of it as well. So we'll rename this from frame to delete. And then for the size of it, we're going to set that to the entire width and height of the frame. Actually, you know what? So that we don't have to add a corner to this. We'll just set this to 0.9 and then we're going to center this as well. So 0.5 comma 0 0.5, 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0.5 comma 0. And there we go. Then for the background frame, we're going to set this to one. We'll add a text label inside of here. So let's actually duplicate the subtitle, drag that into the delete frame and we'll rename this to title. Then we want to just resize it a little bit. So I think something like that is pretty good. Then for the text, we're going to set this to multi delete two words. There we go. Then we can duplicate that one more time, drag this a little bit further down. And this is actually going to be the description. So we'll rename that from title to description and we'll set the text from multi-delete to click on the pets you would like to delete and click confirm. There we go. Then we might actually want to stretch this out a little bit longer. So something like that possibly. And then let's of course make sure that we center this. So point 5.5 on the X. That looks perfect. Then let's duplicate this one more time and we'll rename this from description to selected as this is going to be the selected text. So we'll drag this a little bit further down below the description that we just created. I think that's pretty good. And we'll set the text of this to pets selected colon. And we'll just say three for now. And then for the text color, we actually want this to be kind of a green. So I don't know, like that kind of a green, that could be good. Then we'll duplicate the exit button once again, dragging it into here. And then we just want to resize this a little bit. It. So let's actually drag this further down and resize it to something like that. Then for the position, let's of course make sure that we center this. So just like that, now it's centered. Then for the text, we'll say confirm. For the background color, we want this to of course be a green as well. And realistically, we probably want it to be the same green as the greens that we were using earlier. So we'll use that green right there. And there we go. We now have the confirm button. Let's also make sure we rename the button from exit button to confirm button. And now we have the delete frame all done. Then what we can do is we can duplicate this and we'll rename this to pet. Let's make delete not visible anymore so we don't see that. And now we'll start working on the pet frame. So the confirmation button that we have right here, we can actually keep this and we'll rename this to equip button. And then of course we'll set the text from confirm to equip. Then what we can do is we can actually look inside of our shop GUI that we made in our past episodes. Looking inside of here, we can go inside of the frame. We have the info frame. And then inside of here, we pretty much have all the components that we're also gonna be using for this exact frame as well. So what we can do is we can highlight all of these, copy them by hitting 
and control C, and then we can paste them directly into this frame as well. So now that we paste them in, let's go ahead and delete the title, the selected, the description, and the buy button that we just copied over from the shop. We can also delete the image label as well. And now we have a viewport frame. Let's set this to visible and just set the background transparency to zero so we can see it for a second. All right. So inside of here, we have the viewport frame, which is how we're going to be displaying the pet. Then we have the pet name. So let's actually rename this from item name to pet name. And we'll set the text just to a random pet name. So we'll say Fox. And below the pet name, we actually want to also display the rarity as well. So let's make the stats frame just a little bit smaller. I think we'll resize that in a minute, but let's go ahead and duplicate this. And then we will get the pet rarity and we'll rename this to rarity. Then for the text, we're going to set this to common and we'll set the text color to sort of a grayish color. So just like that. Then for the stats frame, we're going to set the background transparency to one because we don't want anybody to see that. Inside of the stats frame, we'll rename stat to food stat and we'll set the text to the french fry logo x 2.5 and then really we can just delete the price we'll duplicate this and rename the second food stat to money stat and the text for this will be the money bag times 2.5 as well to display that stat then what we're going to do is we're actually going to set the text alignment of both of these on the x-axis to be centered so they appear in the middle then we probably want them to be a little bit bigger so let's actually decrease the size of the equip button so that we can stretch the stats out to be a little bit larger as well so that looks pretty good then we can close the stats frame and we want to make the viewport frame a little bit smaller as well at least when it comes to the width let's make sure that we also center this on the x-axis as well so 0.5 point five. There we go. Then we can duplicate the equip button and we'll rename the duplicated one to delete button. We'll set the background color of this to a red. We'll then set the text to a trash can emoji. And now that we've done this, we just want to reposition it next to the viewport frame. And there we go. Now it doesn't look as good as theirs, but they're most likely using an image. I'm just using emojis for the sake of time. Now that we've got that, we're done with the pet frame. So we can set the visibility of that to false as well. Then for the container, we actually want the, we want to modify the canvas size to be a little bit large as well. So instead of two we might set this to even 10 but for right now we'll set it to five then for the ui grid layout we'll adjust the cell size to make the pet layout look good so we'll set the x to 0.3 and then for the y we could set this to like 0.05 five maybe we'll probably actually increase that so maybe 0.075 it depends let's actually duplicate this a couple of times and now we see we have six displayed on one screen the next thing we want to do is we want to modify the cell padding a little bit because we want there to be a lot smaller of a space between them and we probably even want it to be smaller than that so maybe 0.001 that's pretty small we probably want it to be a little bit bigger so 0.005 and i think that looks good for the x we want it to be around the same thing so 0.005 as well and i think that's actually pretty good then for the size we can adjust this a little bit so maybe 0.32 instead of just point and for the Y, we could maybe make this a little bit larger as well. So maybe just 0 0.8 instead. And we could keep going if we wanted to, maybe like 825. And I think that looks pretty good. The next thing that we'll do is we'll actually delete all of these templates. We want to actually go back to our shop GUI. Now, instead of being inside of the shop GUI, we actually want to duplicate the template button that's with inside of the manager. And we want to drag that directly into our container frame. Now with this, we're going to set the background color from this color to be a lighter orange. So something like that. Then inside of here, we're going to set the background color of the holder to actually be a darker color just like that and then inside of the holder we have the viewport frame which will actually display the pet we don't need the image label so we can delete that then for the item name we'll rename that to pet name and that actually looks fine if you wanted to make it smaller you can but we'll just set the text to fox for right now to see how it looks for the equipped we can set this visibility to true just so we can see it and we actually want this to be more positioned towards like the bottom right of the template so something like that we could make it larger if we wanted to too but for the text you could use an image but for the text we're just going to use a green check mark like that and now we have the template all set up so if we duplicate this template a couple of times we can see how it would look and we can see this is how nine pets would be displayed and that does look pretty good if we duplicate them more we can see how more would be displayed as well and that all looked pretty good i think the final thing that we need to do is let's delete all of the existing templates and inside of the holder we'll duplicate the equipped and we'll set this to delete and remember when we go into the multi-delete mode and we select a pet to be deleted it will actually display a red check mark over top of it but the only other emoji that we have is like a blue one so we'll just set it to that then for the position we want this to appear basically at the left hand side of the screen and i think that looks good enough if you guys want to make it look better you certainly can but i'm just showing you guys how we can make this possible now the last thing that we need to do is add the button on the left hand side of the screen which we will click to display the pet inventory so if we look inside of our star gui we see that we have the button screen gui and inside of here we have a frame called button holder now this holds all the buttons on the right hand side of the screen so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and rename this to left button holder now the naming scheme 
scheme isn't great, but the reason that we're not renaming the original one to right button holder is because if we rename that, then we'd have to go into all the different scripts that we use this frame in, and we'd also have to change the name in there as well. So that's why we're not renaming this. You can if you want to, but I'm choosing not to. Then within the left button holder, what we're going to do is we're actually going to delete the UI list layout, and we're going to add a UI grid layout because all the buttons on the left side are actually the exact same size. Then for the positioning, let's go ahead and set the X positioning to zero because we want that to appear all the way on the left. And then we can kind of just mess around with this by just dragging it around. So for the width, we want it to be a little bit smaller than the currency frame. So I think something like that's pretty good. And then we just want it to be a little bit taller. So that is probably good right there. Maybe we want to make it just a little bit smaller on the side. I don't know. I think that's decent. We'll see how that looks. The next thing that we want to do is with the UI grid layout. Now for the buttons, there are two rows and three buttons in each row. So for the X cell size, we're going to want this to be about like 0.32, comma zero comma point five comma zero we'll see how that looks and that actually looks pretty good i'm not gonna lie then we want to adjust the cell padding and for right now we'll just set this to point oh five comma zero comma point oh five comma zero so there's slight spacing in between we might even want to make it a little bit smaller like maybe point oh thirty five and point oh thirty five so i think that actually looks pretty good now we also want to adjust the cell size a little bit more because at point thirty two on the x we see that we're only able to fit two in each row so what we want to do is we want to set this to like point thirty one and now when we do that, we can see that we are now fitting three on the same row. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the cell and shot button. Then we'll rename the settings button to stats. And inside of here, we can change the icon to a sort of chart. And that looks pretty similar to what they have. And then for the title, we of course are going to set the text to stats. Then for the background color of the button, we want this to be a purple. So something like that's pretty good. Then we can go ahead and duplicate stats and we'll rename this to trade. We want to make sure that we set the layout order of this to one and actually we'll modify stats layout order as well to zero background color for this one is going to be a weird looking blue then of course for the title it's going to be trade and for the icon we're just going to set it to like two people then we can go ahead and duplicate trade and we'll rename this to auto click for the background color of this we want it to be a very very red for the title we want the text to be auto space click and for the icon we want the emoji to be a robot all right there we go and then we also want to make sure that we set the layout priority of auto click to two duplicate auto click rename this to pet set the background color of this to an orange and we'll just pick that color right there then for the title we want that to be pets for the icon we want it to be a doll and then for the layout order of the bun we're going to set this to three and then we just have to duplicate this two more times so we're going to duplicate once more we'll just rename this one to food and this is actually going to be the infinite food one so we'll set the background color of this to a dark red for the layout order we're going to set this to four for the title we want the text to be infinite food for the icon we want the text to be a burger and then we're going to duplicate this one more time rename this to vip set the background color of this to a yellow something like that set the layout order to five now there's probably not like a vip icon so i'm just going to set it to a crown because i don't know that kind of reminds me of vip for the title we want the text to be vip and there you go we now have all the buns set up if we check on mobile view we can see that all the buns are still looking fine the only thing that i would probably make a little bit of adjustments to is making the text slightly smaller because that's we can see with pets it's almost sticking out of the frame the same with infinite food as well but this series is of course not about perfecting the guis we're just quickly making this so that we can start getting to the fun part which is scripting anyways ladies and gentlemen with that all being said we are done for now with the pet inventory gui as always if the video did help you guys out or you guys did enjoy make sure you smash the like button also the subscribe button and turn this post notifications on if you want to get notified when i upload more roblox on my content i also have patreon if you guys like to support me and you can access to all the script and the game file that I make during this episode there's a link down below in the description and you guys can go and check that out with that being said i'll see you guys in the next episode.